Here is another pap smear in our series of uh, intensive uh, pap smear uh, crash courses. And notice once again, you can see a bunch of cells. Some of them are in little groups. Some of them are out by themselves. They're epithelial cells. They're inflammatory cells. No doubt you'd probably see a few bacteria uh, and so forth. Um, notice again, you don't have a hard time finding uh, cells in which the nucleus looks like it might be a little bit bigger than it should be, as well as a little bit darker, as well as perhaps a little bit lumpier. Up around here, it doesn't look too severe. Uh, let's kind of just look around quickly in a few areas, some of which we could look at in thin areas like here, or perhaps some thick areas like here, and find uh, with no problem cells which are what we call suspicious dysplastic high-grade SIL, high-grade dysplasia, high-grade CIN. And uh, so far, I haven't seen any really terribly uh, looking cells. I see some bigger ones than normal. I think up here we could say that these are not really too nice. And it's really a judgment call. You just have to have a lot of experience in looking at these things. And then you should be able to say, well, there are cells here in which the nucleus is bigger and darker and lumpier and greater in relationship to the cytoplasm than it should be. And that's how you diagnose uh, precancer on pap smear. And the reason why I'm feverishly going around here is because I'm looking for more cells. Here's one. Here's one, here's one. And if you look, you'll have no trouble finding cells which are uh, atypical, dysplastic, or call it by whatever buzzword happens to be in uh, vogue for that particular decade. Let's find a couple more. This is a little bit, but I think we could find better. Let's find a couple more and then we'll call it a day. How about here? That's kind of a nucleus that's, it's, even though it's not large, it's very, very uh, densely stained. It's not just the size, but it's also the density and the shape. Thank you very much.